Hi everyone, I'm Jessica from Jessica Ducks Equestrian. Some of you may know me following my channel and if you're new, thank you. Um, I've recently started vlogging again in regards to my riding students and questions or little tips and tricks. You can see Mr. Phoenix out here. Um, but I was also thinking I have such a unique opportunity about to happen for me um, and it relates to a lot of my riders. So I do have quite a few beginner riders, uh, as in children beginners, or young teen riders, but a lot of my people are actually returned to riding mothers or grandmothers coming back to riding. People who've, women who've put their lives on hold to have kids, have a family, um, and then decided, no, that, you know, this was their passion initially and they wanted to get back into it. I hear over and over again that, oh, when I had kids, everything had to stop. It revolved around the kids. There just wasn't time. I couldn't ride or I couldn't own the horse or along those lines. Uh, I am currently 39 weeks and two days. So we are five days out from my due date with my first baby. It's um, hiding under my jacket because it's all raining out there. <laughs> um, and I thought, what a cool opportunity to try and vlog if I'm not too exhausted, <laughs> vlog um, the things that worked, the things that didn't work, the way I went about doing things, what I would change. Um, I'm currently still teaching, so which is why Phoenix is tucked up. So if you don't know them, Phoenix is my show and dressage horse. <laughs> and Miss Lyra behind, can't see her. She is my dressage, eventing, grump. <laughs> She's a grump at the moment. Um, so I'm currently still teaching. I'm actually waiting for a student now, even with this little bit of rain. And I'm praying and hoping that I can get straight back into it, all, all complications aside with giving birth, praying that I can get straight back into teaching again. And I thought, what a cool opportunity to talk about how I went about things or was it even possible? Like, did I really, do we really have to put our passions and our life on hold or can we go about having the family that we want, having the horses that we want, doing what we want? Do we just need to reduce one thing or do we have to give it up altogether? Um, when I get back into it, which I am desperately dying to get back in the saddle, um, it's been, it'll be about 16 weeks. Yeah, it's about 16 weeks this week since I've ridden last and um, pretty desperate at this point. <laughs> pretty desperate, pretty jealous of watching people ride my horses around. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this progresses, you know, with a newborn baby and it's my first child. So I haven't experienced, I don't have that, oh, I'll do this instead of that sort of experience yet. This is going to be a completely fresh off the bat, um, vlogging of what I do. Um, I teach, I intend to get straight back into teaching. I ride, I intend to get back in that saddle as soon as I can and compete as soon as I can. So I thought it'd be really a really cool idea to maybe like document it, maybe talk to some of my um, my mums out there and see what things that they struggled with most and then try and encompass that and try and sort of understand that better to see if we can work around those situations and maybe this could be something that you could do. I think um, as women we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be capable of doing everything at once and we can't. Have that clean house, have the horses, have the baby, that sort of thing. Um, I want to see if it's doable. I want to see if I can do it. If I can make it all work without losing my mind in the process without anything suffering, which I'm sure it will to some degree, but, and, and see if that could possibly translate to you guys and help anyone else out there who's interested in getting back in the saddle ASAP, who wants to get back with those horses. Um, how did I go about things? All right, so if you're interested, please follow along. Uh, we've also got my other vlogs, as I mentioned before. Um, they are all about different questions or situations things that I talk to the students about, uh, things that make sense to me and may not be something that you've ever experienced. So check out that part of our channel too. Um, you can find us on Facebook at Jessica Dirks Equestrian. You can find us on Instagram um, at Jessie Dirks. So, J-E-S-I. 
um, on hashtag Team JDE. Um, and we're also on YouTube as well as Jessica Derek's Equestrian. All right. Thanks so much, guys.